Hi and welcome to Academic Compliance Academy of Law and Economics. In this video I'm going to talk about how do we solve a strategic form game with the help of Nash Equilibrium. Nash Equilibrium. Well, John Forbes Nash developed an equilibrium based on two certain rules. Those are, first, each player in a game must be playing a best response strategy against the conjecture of the other players. The second rule, the conjecture must be correct. So we will put this into a game format so it kind of makes more sense. I put up here the two by two matrix in a strategic form. It is a symmetric game and it represents the classic prisoner's dilemma. So let's look, is there any Nash equilibrium here? Can we solve this game via Nash? Well, we have to look into it. I put the two rules of a Nash equilibrium up here and we have to remember that we're talking about best response. Then we must look at the other party's actions to analyze the first party's best response. Let's take a look at it. The best response from now on will be marked by a star, a red star, so we can follow the process. When we want to analyze player one, I marked him with red. Then we must look at player two's actions. If Player two plays strategy A. Player one would either get minus one from playing A or zero by playing B. Of course, the best response here would be strategy B because zero is better than minus one. Hence the red star. We will continue this by looking at player two if he or she chooses strategy B. So in this case, player one would get either minus 10 or minus five. Again, the best response in the case that player two plays B is that player one also plays B. Thereby, we can say that player one's best response in any case is to play strategy B. Now we have to flip the table and look at player two. So, if player one chooses strategy A, player two can either get minus one from choosing strategy A or zero from strategy B. Of course, again, the best response here would be zero because it's better than one minus one. So the best response for player two in this case is playing strategy B marked by the payoff with the, uh, by the zero with the red star. So let's look at the last segment. So if player one plays B, what is the best response that player two can do? Well, again, we are with strategy B because he can either get minus 10 from strategy A or minus five from strategy B and minus five is better than minus 10. So we mark it by a star. Okay, so we can also say now that both player two and player A have both best responses in choosing strategy B. Now we have to go back to the Nash equilibrium because we have the rules up here and they say each player must be playing a best response strategy, we mark that by the stars, against a conjecture of the other players. So we know how the other players play and our best response against the best response. So when we have two times best response and no one has an incentive to move, that is when we can say that there is a Nash equilibrium. And the reason why you always have to double check, like does anyone have an incentive to move? Is because then you kind of try to, you, you answer the question of that, the, is the conjecture correct? So let's look. If we are situated in minus five point minus five, does anyone have an incentive to move from BB? Well, no, not really, because if player one has chosen B and player two has chosen B, player two has no incentive to going to A because he would get minus 10. And the same account for player one. If he goes to A while the player two has chosen B, he would just get minus 10 instead of minus five. Therefore, both of them are actually situated and want 
to fulfill this best response against each other. And because we have two best response, two stars, this is kind of a quick way to find uh, Nash equilibrium, putting in the stars. Well, then we can say that minus five, point minus five, strategy BB is a Nash equilibrium. Hence, we have now solved a two by two matrix in a strategic form with symmetric data by looking at the Nash equilibrium. So this was just a short video on Nash equilibrium solving strategic game forms. So stay tuned, subscribe, and let's talk much more about law and economics.